Well, it is Friday and we are headed into the weekend. And quite honestly, it has been quite a week. Uh, as of the time that I'm recording this, uh, the headlines are all about the earthquake in Haiti uh, and the death toll from that uh, and the fall of the Afghanistan government to the Taliban, two uh, major world events that, um, yeah, that can be quite unsettling, especially on top of everything else that we've been paying attention to uh, with the Delta variant and the various tensions in the world. And if you're like me and you've got kids, this is also back to school week. Uh, so a lot, of, a lot of fun and activity at home. But in the midst of all of these kinds of things, uh, we recognize we live in a chaotic world. Um, and what's needed more than anything, uh, I think, for us as followers of Christ, certainly for me, is to take a pause from watching the news and processing all of this information and getting caught up in the whirlwind uh, and rest in some of the promises that God has given to us. So for just a few minutes today, I'm going to take us to Psalm chapter 46. And we're going to just read some of these words uh, and let them wash over us. We're going to use a practice called Electio Divina, where I'm going to read this passage, just a few verses from it, uh, three times over, and give us space to just take a deep breath, consider who God is and who he will be for you and me in times like these. So let me just encourage you to take a deep breath, maybe close your eyes, settle yourself in, just take a pause for a couple of minutes to hear the word of the Lord from Psalm 46. And as I read this first time, just listen for what word or idea stands out to you uh, in these first seven verses of Psalm 46. God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear Though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with their surging, there is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is with her. She will not fall. God will help her at break of day. Nations are in an uproar. Kingdoms fall. He lifts his voice. The earth melts. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. As we continue sitting with this psalm, I'm going to read it a second time and invite you just to ask, what is the Lord saying to you through these words as you put yourself in the seat of receiving him speaking to you through the psalmist. And so I'll start again with verse 1. God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear, though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with their surging. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within her. She will not fall. God will help her at break of day. Nations are in an uproar. Kingdoms fall. He lifts his voice. The earth melts. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. And as we close, I'm going to read this one last time and invite you just to consider in response to whatever the Lord is bringing to mind, how you might respond to him as you move through today and into the weekend. Hear this once more, Psalm 46, beginning in verse 1. God is our refuge and strength an ever-present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear, though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with their surging. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within her. She will not fall. 
God will help her at break of day. Nations are in an uproar, kingdoms fall. He lifts his voice, the earth melts. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. May God be with you and be your strength and fortress today.